sometimes we just need a break and we might not want to need a break but we just do and we have to just work with what we've got Hi everyone, so I've been stuck with writing for so long and for longer than I realized, honestly. Pretty much this whole year, I haven't really written anything, so that's pretty much like five months of not writing. I have written a few poems, and this whole time, it's like I've been telling myself I want to work on another book. And last year, around November, I finished writing a book. It's a fantasy adventure novel. It's the first in a series. I love it so much, but I wrote the first draft. But I wanted to take a break from it. And what I thought would be maybe like a month or two became like six months. I actually, that's like the papers that you can see here. That's the manuscript. I wanted to go edit it and I just, you know, I started like looking at it on the screen and I don't want to waste paper but I just thought, you know, I'm gonna print it out once. I think it's really gonna be helpful. So I have been editing it and on paper I edited around 60 A4 pages. Yeah, it has almost 200. Yeah, but I just haven't really been serious about it because the whole time I was just like, I want to write a new book. I really want to just write right now, you know, like actually write, not like work on books, but just write. Um, but I went through a rough time trying to pick the book that I wanted to write, and now I just had a moment of realization when I'm just like, this is not finished. If I get overwhelmed with editing this, I can start working on a new project. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, you know, this is just like that one thing that is like on my to-do list and I'm just like ignoring it and procrastinating on it with like a new thing. And so I made the decision that I'm just really gonna jump into the edits. I've never really edited professionally like actually tried hard so I'm just gonna figure out you know things that work for me just ways that I can edit the best that suit me and my style and whatever I mean I wrote the whole thing but it needs so many changes some big some small I don't know I feel like I need to finish this to be able to really move on and focus on a new book I'm honestly excited um I've never done this and I don't think editing will be my favorite thing ever but at the same time I don't think I'm gonna hate it either um, I'm just excited to make the book complete because this series is gonna, you know, be the beginning of the most epic adventure ever and I think both on the book level and on the, like, how important it will be in my life level, I'm excited to make it happen. So, break is over. Break is fucking over because I have so much time right now and I've just been, you know, just, I haven't been doing anything. And yeah, partially it is because I needed a break, but I don't know, I feel like it's it's time. It's time for me to get back to this. And I'm gonna update I'm gonna keep updating you and um yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to learn and figure it out. And I'm gonna share some tips that I learned along the way with you. And it's gonna be fun. Also probably really painful, but it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> First observation. Um, this is gonna be really difficult for me, <laughs> which isn't that shocking, and I think that's why I've been avoiding it for so long, but the thing I just realized is when I write, I don't think. I always make a really rough outline so that I know where I'm going, but I never really plan the details of how I'm gonna get there, and so I just basically just you know, pour my heart out and I just, um, you know, type on the keyboard and yeah, and I just don't think really. But editing basically is just thinking and, you know, because I need to think about what sounds weird, what sounds good and what I can do to fix a lot of things and I'm just on the first page and, you know, I can see like three paragraphs that just sound weird and 
I think that like it reveals information that should be revealed later but now you know I have to like remove them and think about what I should do to replace them and when I should include it and blah 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 <laughs> and I'm just like wow I just got the first page done I am basically looking at the papers and writing it in the file on my laptop I had to basically write the entire first page again because what I had before just wasn't working. I had a realization that why editing is hard for me is not only that I normally don't think when I write, but also it requires a lot of patience, focus, and it's quite a slow process. And that is something that just goes against my nature a little bit because <laughs> I'm normally not really a person who pays attention to detail like I definitely pay attention to details when it comes to certain things but not really with like words and stuff like I'm not a perfectionist at all and I always try to get everything done as fast as possible and that often takes away from you know the details and stuff and that works mostly when I write. Personally, I write extremely fast and so that was never a problem. The problem with writing was that, you know, I needed to like push myself to start and that was the only difficult part, but once I was writing it was extremely easy for me to just write really fast. But with editing it's really frustrating because I can't speed it up, you know? If there's like an issue that I need to fix, something I need to rewrite, it takes a lot of focus and I just, yeah, it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm pretty excited. I just need to learn this and get used to it and it's not gonna be easy, but again, it's gonna be worth it, so. It's kinda, it kinda hurts to think about all the pages I'm gonna basically have to throw in the trash because already the fir first page I mostly had to remove the whole thing, so I'm like, <laughs> This hurts, this hurts, but it's fine, it's fine. You know, it's just, this is just what it takes and I am gonna do, I'm gonna do all that it takes for me to write this thing. <sighs> Let's do this. Hey everyone, so as you can see, I'm in bed and I have my laptop here. <sighs> I don't even know where to start because I want to help my fellow writers in any way I can. A good way to do that is to share it with you when I'm struggling and to share with you how I try to, you know, figure that out. I have been in a really, really bad creative block for months. I haven't been vlogging, I haven't been filming, and I haven't been writing. And I have so much time. Right now, I'm literally free all the time. If you feel like you have a ton of time and you're beating yourself up because you're not writing, I'm here to tell you, same! <laughs> but, I don't know, I just don't think we should feel bad. I'm all about pushing ourselves, but sometimes we just need a break. And we might not want to need a break, but we just do, and we have to just work with what we've got. And so, I need to figure out how to get myself out of this. I'm currently beta reading, and I just had like a moment when it really hit me, and I was like, I really, really miss writing, and I really, really want to write again, because like, I have so many books planned out, so many characters that I miss so much, and I need to get these stories out of me. You know, I want to create these characters officially, I want other people to meet them, and I want it so, so, so bad, but I just haven't been in the right mindset. I haven't had any energy, and it's just not been great, but I really want to figure it out because I want to fight for my dreams, and I want to get back into it. I want to do something that I love so much and I hope you're gonna join me. So right now I need to go back to beta reading. I just, um, <laughs> I don't remember any time that I was this stuck and I don't know if I'd call it a writer's blog but honestly that this whole year I've just been stuck creatively. The whole time I've been trying to get back to it but I've just, I haven't been able to and only recently I finally just have been feeling right to get back to it and just before everything just felt wrong and it just wasn't good and 
it's not like it feels right now, like nothing feels right, but I'm just trying to push myself into it gently <laughs> uh, and try to figure out what I can do right now to get unstuck. Where I'm at with writing right now is that I don't know what I'm doing in the sense of I actually have no idea what to do next. You know how like so often we have so many projects that we want to work on and there's one thing we're working on and then we're tempted to do something else and we might start that or whatever, but for me it's like I have quite a lot of books really well developed already. Like I have so many characters that are just like perfectly fleshed out like real people in my head and then quite a quite a lot of stories like already like I have the plot for the books figured out as well. In some cases it's not very detailed but in some cases I know exactly what's gonna happen in the whole book. Like not completely because like the outlines I do are normally like they give me a lot of space for me to just play around and do, you know, just kind of improvise a little bit because that's what I like. I like to know where I'm going but give myself space to figure out along the way how to get there and stuff. So I have already like a lot of books planned out and figured out but I don't know what to write right now. <laughs> and I've been trying to figure out what book to write next and I'm really trying to follow my heart while actually making sure it makes a little bit of sense. Because I have a lot of prequels, and I have a lot of sequels, and I have a lot of series, and you know, there are books that I'm tempted to write, but they are kind of like the second book in a series. Not necessarily, because like, I have series that are like loosely connected, and so like it wouldn't be that stupid to write like the second book, because it's not really that connected. But like, you know, it still feels weird, and so there are these issues, and then like I don't know what my heart wants right now. And so I'm just like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do right now. The thing that I realize now, which might be the problem, which I'm like, I don't love it, but I think that's what I'm gonna do is, I actually finished writing a book last year, near the end of the year, and the whole time I've been telling myself, I wanna edit this book and I wanna start writing a new book. Cause I was like, you know, both of it is just like kinda different and I could just like divide my work into different times of my day or of the week so that I can work on both, you know, if I'm ever feeling like I don't wanna edit, I can write, and if I ever feel like I wanna edit but I don't wanna write, I can do that. But then this thing happened, I didn't do either. And I think the problem why I didn't want to start a new book is because I this book is unfinished. Like, I finished writing it, but I need to basically just like rewrite a lot of things, make a lot of changes, and edit the whole thing. And I started working on it, but then I just stopped. And I think that maybe I've been using writing a new book as an excuse to not edit, because I've never properly edited a book before. And so it's like an unknown area for me that I'm a little bit intimated, intimidated by, because that's not my strength, and one reason why is because I've never actually done editing, but also because like I'm not really into details and making things better like that, which I know some people love, you know, because like you make it better, you make the book better, and I love the thought behind that, but for me it's like I love creating, you know, I love creating the characters, developing the ideas, and I love that kind of stuff, like the creativity behind it, not like the details and the sentences and all that stuff. And so I've been procrastinating on that and um, another reason why is because like writing for me I think is much easier than editing, which I know for some people it's different of course. Right now I just need to stop making excuses and I need to make this book happen because like I actually love this book so much and it's the first book in a four part series that I'm so excited about. It's gonna start the whole thing, you know? It's like I have like my own universe and um, my own like fantasy world and this is the first se series set in it and I have a fuck ton of other books planned for this world. This will start it all and I think I really need to finish it first before I can dive into another book. And you know, if I see that I'm like editing and I am making progress but I still wanna write something new, I can do that, but I think right now I just need to dive into it again, even though it's a little bit scary because, you know, I feel like I'm out of practice now because I haven't written anything for half a fucking year, but it's never too late to start again. It's never too late to get back to writing. Hi everyone, so I just wanted to quickly end this vlog. It's been a while since I uploaded my last writing vlog, but... You know, I want to do writing Wednesdays, and it's Wednesday today, and this video is going up, and next Wednesday there's going to be another writing video, and 
hopefully every Wednesday after that. So if you're not interested in the like other random vlogs that I want to do, tune in every single Wednesday and there's going to be a writing video. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I know it's kind of like a little bit all over the place, but that's just because my writing life has been all, a little bit all over the place. And I just really wanted to share this with you because... I know it's easy to, you know, see all these people who are killing it and writing every single day and then, you, you know, we might feel bad that we're not doing that and it's just, I'm here to tell you that it's okay if you haven't been writing much, it's okay if you're kind of lost, if you're a mess, um, it's okay, alright, we're gonna figure it out <laughs> and yeah, so stay tuned because more videos are coming and yes, have a great day and I'll see you soon in another video, bye!